Have you ever wondered what historical events have happened on your birthday? Well, I really never have until this assignment came about, but when I was researching, I came, I thought, I came up with a lot of cool things that happened on my birthday. So I found a bunch of natural disasters that happened on my birthday. I found some important events in literature, and I also found some things that happened in the government. And this important date, which is my birthday, is September 18th. First thing I'll be talking about are some of the natural disasters. The first thing is the Great Fire of Moscow, which happened September 18th, 1812. 75% of the town was destroyed and 12,000 people were killed. I got this information from September 18th on this day in history and on this day in history, or on this day.com. Second thing is the Virgin Islands were hit with Hurricane Maryland. This happened September 18th, 1995. And it was the fourth hurricane to hit the Caribbean in the last four weeks. It left nine people dead. And now that there have been so many hurricanes, they had marshals in the Virgin Islands because the people that were left after the evacuation, all their stuff was being taken because there were people in there stealing it because there was no one really around. And the next thing is U.S. Hurricane Isabella hit. This hit 2003 and it hit North Carolina's Outer Banks and it had winds of 105 miles an hour. And this also continued up to West Virginia. 40 lives were lost and it left 6 million people without power. And a Poland coal mine explodes. This happened September 18th, 2009. And methane gas buildup explodes more than one kilometer underground in Wahik Salask coal mine. It killed 12 miners and injured another 30. Now I got these past three information from important events from this day in history, September 18th, from Steve Pearson. We're now going to be moving on to the area of literature. The first issue of New York Times came out September 18th, 1851. It was actually supposed to come out September 16th, two days sooner, but they were two days behind schedule. Henry Jarvis Raymond was the man who created this newspaper, and I got this information from an article written by Michael Chabon, November 14th, 2001. The creator of the first English dictionary was born. He was born September 18th, 1709 in England, and his name was Samuel Johnson. I got this information from History for September 18th on this day.com. We're now going to be moving from literature to the government. The CIA was officially came into existence September 18, 1947. It had been like established a little bit sooner in July, but it was made official on September 18, 1947. I got this information from September 18th on this day in history and on this day.com. The United States Air Force was established. It was kind of already established, but it was made its own official branch on September 18, 1947, and it was made its own branch by the National Security Act. And the Fugitive Slave Act was established. It gave slave owners the right to bring back their escaped slave from any state, like a slave state or a non-slave state, it didn't really matter. And it was declared by the US Congress in September 18, 1850. I got this information from History for September 18th and on the state.com. Police in Hong Kong made a record drug bust. They raided five different locations across Hong Kong. They arrested eight people, and they seized half a ton of cocaine. That half a ton of cocaine was worth $77 million. And this happened September 18, 2011. And I got this information from important events from this day in history on September 18th by Steve Pearson. So there were so many different things that happened on September 18th, before I was born and even after I was born. Some of them are good things, like the drug bust that arrested all those people. Some of them are bad, like the fire of Moscow, which killed thousands and thousands of people. But now you all know that there were natural disasters, literature events, and government issues that happened on September 18th, which is my birthday. And I now know that my birthday is not really all about me. There are other things that happen, and it'd be really cool if in the future someone else did this assignment and they had the same birthday as me and could do my birthday as a cool assignment. Thank you.